Welcome to Hello Class. I'm Alan, your teacher. We're glad you could join our class today. Today we ask another important question. Are you a doctor? I am usually very healthy, but sometimes I need a doctor. When I need a doctor, I usually go to the doctor's office. Sometimes I need a doctor fast. Then I go to a hospital. Today I need a doctor fast. But there is no hospital here. Are you a doctor? Listen to that question again. Are you a doctor? You say it. Are you a doctor? Say it again. This sentence is a question. It has a question mark. All questions have a question mark. The sentence also has a subject and a verb. This question starts with the verb. The verb is the word are. Questions with the verb are often start with the verb. Now say just part of this question. Are you? You say it. Are you? Say it again. Are you? Now say the whole question. Are you a doctor? Say the question again. Are you a doctor? Say it one more time. Good. Now stop and think. Who are we talking about? We are talking about you. I am asking you, are you a doctor? Every question is a sentence, and every sentence has a subject and a verb. You know already that the verb is the word are. Now what's the subject in this question? Are you a doctor? What person is this question all about? You! Correct! The word you is the subject. Here is a rule for you to remember. The subject of the sentence is the main person, place, or thing in a sentence. It comes after the verb are in questions like, are you a doctor? For example, are you a doctor? The word you is the subject. Are you? Here is a new question. See if you can tell me what the subject is in this sentence. Are you a farmer? Listen to the question again. Are you a farmer? Now what is the subject? Right, the subject is the word you. Are you? Here is a hint. It's easy to find the subject in a question that starts with the verb are. It's the very next word, you. Listen. Are you? Are you a doctor? The word you is the most important person in the sentence. The subject is you. Try this sentence. Are you a baker? What's the subject here? Correct! It's you again! Are you a cleaner? What's the subject now? Yes, the subject is you! Now find the subjects in these questions. Say the subject aloud. Aloud means with your voice, so I can hear you. 
Are you a painter? Are you a housewife? Are you a teacher? You now know what the subject and the verb are in the question. Are you a doctor? But what is a doctor? Doctor. Say the word. Doctor. Say it again. A doctor is a great job. Doctor means a person that helps us stay healthy. If we are sick or hurt, he makes us well. Well is another word for healthy. Say doctor. Here is another job. Farmer. Farmer. You say it. Say the word again. Farmer. A farmer grows fruit and vegetables. He works on a farm. He grows the food that we buy at the supermarket. Say farmer. Here is another great job. Baker. Baker. You say it. Baker. Say it again. A baker is a person that bakes bread. Mmm. It smells good. Cleaner. Cleaner. You say it. Cleaner. Say it again. A cleaner is a person that cleans a house or an office. Here's another one. Painter. Painter. Say it for me. Say it again. Painter. A painter is a person that paints houses and buildings. This is a housewife. Housewife. You say it. Housewife. Say it again. A housewife cleans the house, cooks the food, and cares for children. Here is a teacher. Teacher. Say the word teacher. Wait a minute. I'm a teacher. A teacher teaches English. That was an easy one. You say the word teacher. Good. Let's play a game. I will show you a picture and you ask me the question. Start with, are you? Here is an example. You see this picture and you ask, are you a farmer? Are you a farmer? You say it. Good. Okay, look at this picture and ask the same question. Right, are you a cleaner?
How about this one? What's the question? Good. Are you a painter? What's the question here? Are you a housewife? Good job. What's the question? Yes, I am a teacher. Great job. Let's mix them up and play a little faster this time. Remember, ask the question, are you? Are you a farmer? Are you a painter? Are you a housewife? Are you a teacher? Are you a doctor? Are you a cleaner? One more. Are you a baker? I wish I was a baker. I love bread. Today we have learned the names to many jobs. We have also learned how to ask an important question if we are hurt. Are you a doctor? We also can find out about other people's jobs. Are you a housewife? Are you a painter? Or are you a cleaner? Are you a farmer? And are you a teacher? Try asking these questions when you meet people. They will tell you all about their job. There's more English to learn. Hello Class will return in a moment. Learn English on your level, in your home, on your schedule. Introducing Hello Channel, an exciting new way to learn English as you build a better future. Join us and say hello. Welcome to Hello Class. I'm Alan, your teacher. We've got a lot to learn. Today we answer the important question, are you a doctor? A doctor is a great job. Doctors help people stay healthy. When you are sick or hurt, you need a doctor. Find a doctor by asking the question, are you a doctor? You say it. Are you a doctor? Ask the question again. No, I am not a doctor. Listen to that again. No, I am not a doctor. That is not my job. I am a teacher. Let's practice the answer to the question, are you a doctor? No, I am not a doctor. You say it. No, I am not a doctor. Say it one more time. No, I am not a doctor. When we want to say that something is not true or not what we want, we say no. We often shake our head when we say the word no. Try it with me. No. No. Are you a doctor? Say the word no and shake your head like this. No. You try it. Are you a doctor? Say no and shake your head. No. Now say the whole answer. No, I am not a doctor. Say it again. No, I am not a doctor. 
Now show me what you have learned today. Answer this question. Are you a doctor? That's right. No, I am not a doctor. Are you a doctor? No, I am not a doctor. Here is a rule you use when you say no to a person. A sentence that uses the word no is called a negative sentence. You use a negative sentence to say something is not true or not what you want. Negative. Say negative. Say it again. Negative. No, I am not a doctor. That's a negative sentence. All sentences have a subject and a verb. In this sentence, the word I is the subject and am is the verb. The word I is what the sentence is all about. And the word am is the verb. The words am not are like the word no. They mean something is not true or not what you want. No, I am not a doctor. Let's say two sentences, one positive and one negative. I am a doctor. I am not a doctor. Listen again. I am a doctor. I am not a doctor. Now you say both sentences. I am a doctor. I am not a doctor. Say it again. Remember, the word not tells us the sentence is negative. We use the word not when we say something is not true or not what we want. When someone asks me the question, are you a doctor? I answer, no, I am not a doctor. It's not true. I'm not a doctor. You try it. Answer this question. Are you a doctor? No, I am not a doctor either. Are you a doctor? No, I am not a doctor. Say the answer. No, I'm not a doctor. Say it again. I'm not a doctor means I have a different job. Maybe I'm a farmer. You say it. Say farmer. A farmer grows fruit and vegetables. He works on a farm. Are you a farmer? Say yes, I am a farmer or no, I am not a farmer. Here's another job. Baker. Baker. You say it. Say it again. Baker. A baker is a person that bakes bread. Are you a baker? Here is a cleaner. Cleaner. You say the word. Cleaner. Again. A cleaner is a person that cleans a house or an office. Are you a cleaner? This is a painter. Painter. Say it for me. Say painter again. A painter is a person that paints houses or buildings.
housewife. Housewife. You say it. Housewife. Say it again. A housewife cleans the house, cooks the food, and cares for children. Are you a housewife? Teacher. Teacher. Say the word. A teacher teaches English. Are you a teacher? Now you ask me the question, are you a teacher? Yes, I'm a teacher and I love teaching you English. Well done. We'll see you again on the next episode of Hello Class.